Oh, your, your, your mother let me in. And I thought that you and I could talk. Every time I close my eyes, I see blood pouring out of Devin's body while hearing his voice inside my head. I don't mean to be rude, Dr. Weber, but talking about it doesn't help me. This game helps me. I had my own, Devin. So I know exactly what you're feeling. My patient was Chuck Higgins, cannery worker. We met when my wife, Adele, made me go on a food and blanket drive for homeless people that he organized. Guy with a big heart, terrible card player, great taste in music. One day he came in for a bowel obstruction. He didn't like hospitals. I remember the fear in his eyes when he was told that he needed surgery. But when I told him that I would do it, fear went away. He told me how comforting it was to see me, someone who looked like him in a white coat. Three hours later, there was a horrible error in communications in the OR, and as a young attending, I was too inexperienced and timid to speak up. And, and you killed him like I killed Devin. We all kill people. Schmidt, we don't always kill people we feel close to, like you felt with Devin, like I felt with Chuck. It makes the loss unbearably worse. And it's not even his death that haunts me. It's the relief in that man's eyes when he saw that I was his surgeon. The trust that he put in me. That's what stays with me. Even today. He thought I would take care of him. And I didn't. 